Oh, we are live and direct today with the one and only Common Hearts, a band out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They got a huge show at Stage AE this Saturday and a new album on the way this September. Common Hearts, welcome. Thank you. Hello, Jim. So good to see you. I, we're going to talk a bunch about this new album. I'd love it if you kicked us off with a song. Let's do it. This is a brand new one. It comes out tomorrow. It's called Pusher. Hustler. <laughs> I've been worried about the future Forgetting about my past I'm so focused on the present It's probably why it doesn't last You see, I'm a hustler, baby And I want you to know Hard times is coming I've got to go Long cold nights and there's more ahead It's hard to make a living off the walking day Lonely people grow so close to me When it's time to move on, Lord, I don't lose no sleep Cause you see I'm a hustler, baby And I want you to know Hard times is coming, I've got to go See, I can't make no mistakes, baby Cause there's no forgiveness Oh, I'm a hustler, baby And I want you to know Hard times is coming I've got to go Faith is gone. I can't let on. You see, the folks around me need me strong. And it broke my heart to lie to God. But tell me what's going on. All this world around me feels so wrong, Lord. And I know it's time to push back with all that I have. It's the Common Hearts, live and direct on WYEP today with a brand new song. That one's called Hustler from the new album For Work or Love. Comes out September 16th. So uh, I don't necessarily want to spend this time, Clinton, talking about the past because we've all been through it. We know that a couple of years ago, Common Heart put out an amazing record. 
were set up to do really good things and then everything shut down. Like, I think now we're ready to look towards the future. So talk a little bit about this album. Uh, it's coming out in September. When you think about it, how do you feel? The one thing that this two year shutdown did give me was this record. And I will be forever grateful for that because I think it's the best thing we've done thus far as a band. And I'm really proud of it. And I'm just so excited for the future. Like you said, you know, we're just, we're, you know, we're loading, we're loading the gun, if you will. You know, we're just, we're, we're getting everything in order to just go and spread music and spread love again. And it's, it's exciting. I think the album title is very telling because I feel the same way. I mean, we're doing this for work, but we're doing it for love too. Yeah. The, the album, it, it, you know, that's, that's a beautiful way to look at it for sure. I, for me, it's like the inspiration for the album title for work or love is it's kind of like, there's only two reasons that somebody will uproot and change their entire life. And it's usually for one of those. And you know, it, it's the process of what we're about to do. It, it, it's definitely relating to that and just kind of, Hey, that we're here, you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of have both. And yeah, that's what it's all about. Let's talk a little bit about that song hustler. Is that, is that something that, you know, you made up in your head or is that the real Clinton Clegg coming to the surface <laughs> after all these years? I don't think I can legally comment if it's the real Clinton Clegg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it, it's a, it, it's a song about, well, you know, I'm always fascinated with old gangster movies and, and all, you know, all kind of old, you know, different troubled people are always so fascinating and how they can be real workers and, and, you know, maybe in some eyes of people, they're bad people and that might be true, but they still have work ethic and they still are doing it to maybe raise a family or, or provide whatever they're providing. And I've always been fascinated by that lifestyle. And that song is kind of a, a, a fictional ride through a guy that's um, trying to do something right with music and find joy and, you know, all those kind of fun things. But yeah, I'd say more fictional, but it, it is a tale of a street hustler. There's no doubt about it. Well, the new album comes out in September, September 16th. I've heard it already because I'm a lucky guy. And yeah. I, I got to say, it is a masterpiece. So you guys worked Thanks. with Steve Berlin of Los Lobos on this, which I think is a really good fit. How did that relationship come about? We had the good fortune of um, going on a, a, a couple small runs, we had the same booking agent, and uh, they put us out with Los Lobos. And <clears throat> the first night uh, that we played with them was in New Orleans at Jazz Fest. We opened up for them at uh, the House of Blues. And at the House of Blues on the stage, if you look up top, there's a window where it's to the green room. And the band's looking down, and the curtain didn't close, and they all stayed there looking. And then Steve came down afterwards, and he was like, hey, me and you got to go get a we got to go get a bourbon. So I ended up talking to Steve. We got pretty close, and he said, if this band makes a record, please tell me I want to produce it. Two years later, I text him, we're making a record. He was on the next flight. Wow. And it, it's, it's, he's just a remarkable man. He's in, in, you know, so talented and, and special, and he, his thumbprint is all over this new album. So when you're in the studio, are, are you pretty malleable? Can you be directed or produced? or, or that's, are you that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. I, I've never done that before. Not that I'm, you know, I'm not a diva in there, but, but I've never been like, I felt I wanted him to tell me what to do in some ways. You know, I wanted to make it a Steve Berlin record and have this experience with him because I know his history and I just trusted in it. And that's what came out. Can't wait for everybody to hear this. Uh, I'm so excited about this album. There are so many powerful songs on it. Uh, and I think you guys are going to play How Do I Do This yep. next. Do you, do you want to set that one up for us? Because it's a beautiful song. Yeah. So How Do I Do This came about, you know, through the pandemic when you're home and you're feeling a little bit trapped, you're feeling a little bit isolated and you start to have appreciation for the people around you and realize how much you need people. You need your bandmates, your friends, your family. And it's a celebration of appreciating relationships. And it's a song about missing somebody. <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys being here today. Uh, we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about what the Common Heart's up to in this new album. But if you could play a couple songs for us, that'd be amazing. Yeah, and here, here's uh, How Do I Do This? And uh, thanks so much, WYP, for spinning it recently. And yeah, here's a, here's a special version, live.
picking up the pieces with more hands than just my own. It takes a village. It's a place I call my own. I realize, Lord. I realized a long, long time ago Things can change I got to learn to let it go How do I do this without you? How do I live this life alone? How do I do this without you? How do I carry on when you love somebody? Ain't got good, bad, or driving a pill. Yeah, when you really love somebody, yeah, and they got all of that power and feel. Don't forget it. See, that's the worst thing. That can break a grown person down. Now listen, I know I'm learning as I go, but one thing I know for sure is I always I want you around. How do I do this without you? How do I live this life alone? How do I do this without you? How do I carry on, yeah. Hey, mama, can you hear me? I'm screaming out as loud as I can. This inspiration that I'm feeling is only appealing if I know that you're around. Hey, papa, I won't forget it. I'll send a card and I'll let them know. Cause it's the little things in life that make it all feel right when you let the people around you know. Come calling, but the calls had to start. Maybe I was scared. Oh, underprepared. You see, I've been dreaming more. Yeah, I dream, but I don't sleep. 
It's all too loud And I'm way too proud But if you need me I'll be around Spending my days In a small little town Probably drinking too much Oh, but I'll never be far enough I'll never be far enough Now if you're asking And you need someone to lean on Someone to make you feel strong Like the mercy of a salt-filled lake We'll have mercy. Yeah, we all have things to get over. But if you need me and I'm somewhere, you're not. And you're staring at all the books that you've bought. Probably drinking too much. Oh, I'll never be far. It's the Common Heart, live and direct here at WIEP today. A beautiful new song called Far Enough. We also heard How Do I Do This? And this band is going to be playing at Stage AE this Saturday. A big, big show here in Pittsburgh. Uh, Now, from what I understand, this is not your first concert today, right? No, it is not. We had such a fun morning, uh, Michael and I. Uh, went over to Children's Hospital this morning and got to play on their Channel One kind of closed circuit TV and uh, be a part of the Children's Hospital morning show and talk to the kiddos in their rooms and play a couple songs for them. And uh, yeah, really enriching morning uh, with some really awesome people at Children's Hospital. It sounds like it was a great time. I I know the healing power of music and I'm a generally healthy guy. So for people, uh, you know, who really need some healing, Common Heart, it's the way to go. Uh, now, I caught your show at Mr. Small's last winter, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. And if I think it was one of the first shows that I saw, you know, after everything shut down for a couple of years. And I cried. I cried so hard at that show. Um, Me too. I, I, th- I believe it. I think everyone in the room was in tears. Can you talk? Pittsburgh just got together and cried that day. <laughs> and we needed it. We needed it so bad. Can you talk about what it felt like to to come back to this after some time away? Uh, so just special, unique. Um, you know, I've, I've played a lot of shows over a lot of years, and that one will stick out because after the hiatus um, of the pandemic, we, you know, to come back in a room with, with fans and just – feel a feeling that's been gone for a while uh it meant a lot it was very important i think so i I agree very important we're really looking forward to the show this weekend Uh, i imagine that you're feeling the gravity of it all again and again (laughs) yeah it's uh I, i have this running joke of like uh you know so proud to be from Pittsburgh, and, and they, you know, they come to me. I say they, we, I don't, you know, who knows who they are. But they come and they say, hey, Clinton, do you want to play the biggest room in Pittsburgh for the most amount of people you ever worked in front of? I was like, yeah. And they're like, okay, cool, wait two years, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe we'll have you back. Maybe. Well, we, we're, we're here. We're two days away. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, I'm sure a lot of people are because 
you know, the music that you make, it, it brings so much joy and there's so much joy in it. However, I, I feel like the songs don't necessarily start that way. Some of them probably start from a much darker place. So if life was easy, would you be doing this? Do you think? No. I think it's to get to joy, you got to have pain. And it inspires that. And they fuel off each other. And that's what I'm trying to do. Doing it well. Um, now, okay, I'll bring up some of my personal pain here, if you don't mind. I, yeah. I hate when my phone rings, Clinton. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I barely answer it when I know the person, and especially not if I don't know the number. So I, I'm thinking of a time, maybe some people know this story, maybe some people don't, but a few years back, your phone rang. And you didn't know who was calling, but you answered it. What happened? The ID said Austin, Texas. I was working my day job. It was 2016. And I answered it. And the gentleman said, hi, I'm Gary Clark Jr.'s tour manager. I was like, very cool. Hi, what's up? And uh, he said, I need a band to open for Gary Clark tomorrow night at AE. Are you available? And I said, yes. And I had not talked to one other band member of mine <laughs> to see if they're even in town. Um, we were doing this show in my mind, and uh, it was amazing. It was an honor. Gary and his whole team were great. And it really launched what is now the Common Heart because it put us in front of our direct demographic with a beautiful WYEP audience and you know, really got our name out there bigger than it ever had been before. And it was so important to this band's trajectory, and it, it meant a lot to us. Well, uh, you guys are shining brightly, and the new album for Work or Love comes out September 16th. There's a big, big show at Stage AE this weekend, Saturday night, outdoors. Uh, you can find information about all of this online. And two of those songs, Hustler and How Do I Do This, will be available on all your streaming platforms tomorrow. Our first two singles drop tomorrow, and then the album in the fall, and we are so excited and proud to have How Do I Do This spinning here at WYP. Thank you to everyone here and yeah, we're excited, and uh, here we go. Just a big love fest. I'm glad I you guys it. are here today. Uh, somebody said this is love week, because... Uh, heart week. Yeah, oh, heart week. Yeah, yeah, because the head and the heart are here. That's right, and the common Which, heart. And the common heart. So it is heart week, and we send our love to uh, to, the, to those folks, and uh, you know, good luck with their show. And yeah, it's heart week in Pittsburgh. Nice. <laughs> glad to be a part of it. Well, I'd love it if you send us off with the song... But also, if you would, introduce who you have here on stage with you today, because this is not the full Common Heart, but a section of the Common Heart. A section, specifically our horn section. Here today on trumpet, Mr. Nate Insko. And on saxophone, we have Abby Gross. And then to my right here, we have Mr. Michael Menda on the acoustic guitar. And yeah, my name's Clinton. I'm singing the songs. All right. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you, Joey. This is another new one. Uh, it's called Believer. Uh, and it's it's a song about just wanting to believe in joy and uh, believe in something that's good. about my dad Did he give it everything that he hardly had Were those the best days and we just couldn't tell No, we couldn't tell He worked so hard to build a happy home But every night he just wound up all alone don't put it past him to move on again well, Here I am again Whether I'm wrong or I'm right Don't leave me alone tonight I don't want to be a non-believer Yeah, tell me I'm wrong or I'm right Just don't leave me alone tonight I don't want to be a non-believer don't want to be a non-believer Take me back 
down that Mona River and put me up on a bar stool. Yes, sir. Hush now, child, that your grand folks just imprinted on you. Would you take a chance on this lonely boy? Just do your best not to harm him. His mind works best when he's alone. But I know you and I see through what you're trying to do. No, no, no. Just tell me I'm wrong or I'm right. Don't leave me alone tonight. I don't want to be a non-believer. Yeah, tell me I'm wrong or I'm right. Don't you leave me alone tonight, Lord. I don't want to be a non-believer. I don't want to be a non-believer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to be a non-believer. Help me believe. I need to believe in something real. Lord, I want to believe. Believe in something real, Lord. Oh, no, Lord. It's the Common Hearts live and direct on WIP today. The new album for Work or Love due out September 16th, and they're playing at Stage AE. Saturday. New songs drop everywhere tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming in here. Our pleasure, Joey. Thank Always you. a pleasure to see you. And we'll send you back to some music now with a new one from Fantastic Negrito, 91.3 WYEP.